guys welcome back to another adventure quest video and in today's video as you guys have already know AQ has re-released the decimator armor okay it was a very popular armor back first when it uh, when it was first released uh, it's a very strong darkness armor and it has the highest attacking speed animation uh, out of all of the armors in adventure quest okay that is why it's favored by many players even though it's only one hit uh, uh, its accuracy is still relatively high, but some players do not like it for the fact that it's one hit. Uh, it's a fully offensive darkness armor. Okay, not fully offensive, it's neutral. Okay, uh, <coughs> and uh, it has a skill called Decimate, and uh, Decimate can uh, actually reduce your en opponent's endurance by 50 for the duration of one turn. Okay. So now I'll be testing it on the newest Void Monster, Death Flare, okay? Uh, they just introduced this monster about a week ago, okay? And the Decimator armor is uh, color custom. So yeah. Now you guys might be noticing why my Z tokens is actually only 643. Buying the package actually gives you 12k Z tokens, but... Uh, I spent it all on golden gift boxes to get Kellogg Bob because I missed it the other time and what really pissed me off was that uh, I actually had to spend about uh, 50 over boxes just to get Kellogg Bob, okay? Which was quite unlucky. Okay, now you usually don't really, uh, you can't, you usually won't be able to resist that, uh, that strike, okay? But uh, I got lucky, I suppose. Okay, so what uh, the Rapid Chops does is that uh, it tasers you for 7 rounds and you have a 30.6% chance each round of being unable to act, which is actually quite high in my opinion. Now I'll show you guys the armor skill later. It causes quite a lot of SP to use as compared to armor skills. Uh, close to 600 SP was 558 if I'm not wrong. Okay, you know what, let's just switch to uh, Hit a Radius Dragon, since I have zero endurance, I don't want to die that quickly. Okay, looking at this dark armor, it has a uh, decent uh, combat defenses and of course its uh, primary resistance is darkness with uh, secondary resistance to energy and fire. And of course it is weak against uh, water and ice, okay, so yeah. So very nice armor, the artwork is amazing obviously and uh, now the only downside is like I mentioned it's only one hit and if that hit misses it means you negate a full turn worth of damage but of course uh, that doesn't stop many players from owning this armor. Super fast attack animation and uh, very powerful, uh, relatively accurate as well and of course it's very unique and very strong uh, armor skill called Decimate, okay? Now when it reaches about 1.9k health, I'll show you the effect, okay? Uh, Decimate is an excellent uh, finishing move because uh, it can uh, take out quite a lot of the opponent's HP. Never mind, I'm just gonna show it now and in case he survives, better call a light pad, okay. So it's about 4 hits. Oh, it reduces uh, it by 40 endurance, not 50, my bad. Okay, got a bit unlucky there. So okay, we can just uh, decimate him again, thanks to the new SP update. 
actually it's (uh) kind of random (uh) how many endurance it (uh) reduces it by maximum I think is fifty if I'm not wrong so ya so the skill is actually four hits (uh) and they both add up to hundred percent damage if I'm not wrong okay very nice animation of course okay and with this (uh) new gas in the void okay (uh) you have (uh) after you defeat him you get two new (uh) spells okay (uh) he's relatively easy to defeat just get a good darkness armor and you're good to go first one death chops (uh) spell that can daze your foe for several rounds I did not buy this and call death flare which I did buy but I don't think I'll be showing it off okay now I also bought the white knight z my zack tokens I'll show you on a a light monster and of course I'll be using callot bog okay uh shields cosmic battery I meant to click on Twilly. Okay. okay, if you guys missed it last time, Calabot basically is a uh, Weapon that can attempt to make the monster bleed and if you click on the blade you can switch between melee damage or magic damage. Of course I'm going with melee, okay. Wait a minute, I could just go here. Pexia Clans. Okay, so what other things did I do? I purchased the White Knight Z, I purchased about 50 over gift boxes to get Caleb Bog, and of course I got the, uh, the, what, Decimator Armor, okay? Uh, Light, Lucian, is it Lucian? Yeah, I think it's Lucian. Okay, fine, we got a Shadow Rock. Wait a minute, should not be using Earth. Now, there are other new Z token pa packages. I have not tried them out. The newest one being the Cyber Assassin. Now, looking at the info subs, I do not actually think that it's worth it. Every attack of this has a chance to. Uh, uh, shock stun or this, or I can't remember what. The enemy, anyways, uh, the effect is the same. It stuns it for, I think, it's a chance to stun the enemy for a turn or something like that. Uh, still not uh, that good in my opinion, actually. I don't understand why you keep getting shadow monsters. The other Z token packages, what do I think are worth getting? Definitely get the decimator if you can, and uh, I think the uh, Terrasu set is quite good. The Hand of Terrasu set, yep, uh, he has a very strong armor skill, light, of course. Uh, no, uh, ice based, of course.
Oops, forgot to go with Swordmaster Emblem. Now I'll show you the skill later, which is a uh, Radiant Lance. Now, uh, that causes 481 SP, <coughs> lesser than uh, Decimator's uh, Decimate skill, but uh, still incredibly strong. Okay. Now the bleeding effect has not occurred yet, but we'll just wait for it patiently. White Knight Z was uh, out for a long time already, already prior to this. I just did not get it because I did not have enough sack tokens for it, okay? So, yeah. And when it attempts to... When the monster is, has successfully... Uh, when uh, the weapon has successfully... Uh, caused your enemy to bleed, it does uh, more damage as well while the monster is bleeding Another shadow monster. You know what? I think I'm just gonna test it out on the uh, combat practice trainer. Okay, so let us go there now. Uh, Calibot comes from AQ Worlds and uh, I have not gotten the weapon in AQ Worlds because it's incredibly tedious to farm for and you only has like a 1% drop chance from the quest even though I did get uh, the out of Calibot. Okay, now here's the bleed effect. As you can see, your blade goes stronger and your full suffering dealing greater damage. Okay. Okay, the bleed is not incredibly strong, but still is better than nothing. Okay. Okay, now let us see the armor skill Radiant Lance. Basically, it's a three hit. Could be range or magic, depending on your stats. Okay, let us see that again. So, yep, it does quite a lot of damage. Okay, so, yep, that's it for this showcase. Uh, I've showcased the Decimator Armor, the White Knight Z, Caleb Bob, and of course the newest monster in the void. So, that's it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.